crafty peeps i have two design team project shares for you today that i'm super excited about one of them you already saw if you saw my live show on a scrapbookers of country craft creations um in facebook um and the collection that we use for our december craftology box is metropolitan girl by stephen duncan and the company that makes it is cartabella and um, Tamara and I really, really love this collection. So this is a sticker sheet. And as you can see, I've used some of the stickers already. And then also you get several um, 12 by 12 sheets. Um, you will get some black tool in your kit. You will also get a little um, metal purse charms. You will get um, a kind of a peachy a ivory and a black seam binding ribbon and you will also get this beautiful um pink chiffon ribbon isn't it gorgy i love that i don't even know if i can really show it to you really well because my hands are pink okay anyway i just had to put some lotion on because it's dry it's dry it's just dry out here okay let me tell you even though we had a rain yesterday I don't know what it is with my skin, but okay. Anyway, we won't talk about that. Then you will get your Bow Bunny Blossom flowers. And also, um, I think that is it for that. And I'm sure you all will get some other things. I'm not I'm not 100% sure what is all going in the kit. Um, so on the extended kit, um, and you have a couple more days to go ahead and put in your order. If you've already ordered it, you can add these on and it'll just go right in your box. These awesome Cartabella dies, which I'm going to show you what I did with them. And if you didn't see it yesterday, I showed quite a few of them on, um, scrapbooker. So you have your, um, the word beautiful. You have a, um, dress form, a little purse, a larger purse, lipstick, um, ring and shades. I love those. This is also part of the extended kit. You can get a six by six paper pad of Metropolitan Girl, which is 24 double sided sheets. Love it. And then she sent me the ephemera too. I was so excited to see that because I love ephemera. I go crazy. And then, um, she also sent me the Julie Nutting Mercy stamp. And um, I'm really into stamping right now. Of course, I love the Julie Nutting stamps. And also, I purchased these on my own. This is the Julie Nutting um, watercolor pencils, hair, skin, and tent, hair and skin tones. Which, um, if you love doing, you know, love coloring in the Julie Nutting dolls, these are really awesome to work with. Um, I will try to do a tutorial. Um, I was going to do one the other day, but I used the the smaller one, and it's kind of hard for y'all to see on that. So. Anyway, let me just move this out of the way and we will get started. So, if you were watching the live show yesterday, um, I made this cute little um, shadow box. And I, I wanted it to look like kind of like your storefront, you know, like you're walking in front of a store and there's there's the window. So, storefront window is what I would say. And um Here's my little Julie Nutting doll. There's a little uh, Paris, and I fussy cut that out. And I also put um, some of my stickles from my, um, not last month's, but the month before that Craftology box, I think. Maybe it was last month. I don't know. Anyway. And then um, I fussy cut Bonjour out, and I also put stickles on there. This is stickers from the collection, this too. Um, then in the background, there's a six by six sheet of paper and I did need to put stickles there and I forgot. Um, and then this is from the 12 by 12 sheets of paper and we just kind of popped them up. And so, um, if you join the Facebook group, that tutorial will still be on there if you have not already joined. So you can watch that, um, at any time. We don't remove them until, you know, <laughs> until they remove them until Facebook does. Now, here's the piece of the resistance. I'm so excited. So, the other day, um, I was watching on YouTube, and somebody had made a really cute stuffed envelope out of a, uh, like a stocking. They made their own stocking pattern. So, I made a corset. I thought it would be perfect for this little collection. Um, and whoever gets this, um, 
I wanted to include some like gift tags that they could use. Um, and I was going to put some string on here, but I'm looking for like a, a really thin gold string. And I don't know where I'm going to find one, but I might look on um, Amazon because I, I do a lot of that. Um, or maybe Tamara can tell me. Um, she may have some in the store and I don't know it. Um, this right here is a little rosette. I used the tool and then I used one of the flowers from the kit. And here is beautiful. I don't know if I can, maybe I can kind of like bring that up to you. There we go. Maybe that's a little bit better. But what I loved about this um, die cut was that I was able to curve the letters. And um, I've never done that before, so that was really cool. Of course, I used my art glitter glue to apply all my little flat back pearls. Um, I used my glue gun for these because, you know, they were much larger and I wanted them to go much faster. But all my little um, uh, flat back stones right here, my Swarovski stones, I went ahead and did the same thing on that too uh, where I used the art glitter glue and it dried like really fast. And then here is my seam binding ribbon bow and I used my Zetter bow at all, which I really love. Um, and then of course here's the tool and I use this like teal ribbon and then this teal ribbon behind here was from my stash. Um, I just happened to have um, probably about almost 12 inches of this particular ribbon. I don't know where it came from. It was probably gifted to me because um, I don't normally purchase uh, teal colors, but it's absolutely gorge. Um, right here, I made like another little gift tag. I just fussy cut. Um, these little shoes from the 6x6 um, pad. And then this is one of the ephemera tags. And I thought that this would be a really cute gift tag to give to somebody. And then I made this pinwheel. And I will be doing a tutorial for that shortly. Um, that is not in the um, corset tutorial. I'm basically showing you how to make this corset. And it is a expanded corset. So you could fit quite a bit in here. Um, I thought it'd be really cute to put it on the back of a nail file um, so that, you know, it could be given as a gift. And then I went ahead and made this little rosette wand. And um, this is just black solid cardstock that I put on score tape or put score tape on the back of it and then just kind of spun around and put it on there. And then um, this little punch. Tammy Vallen, let me borrow. Thank you so much, Tammy. I'll be sad when I have to give it back, but I know I need to send it back to you. So I'm going to do that pretty soon here. Um, these are just some flowers from my stash. This right here, this tag is from the Ephemera Collection. This is a Nagori Goose feather that I ordered from Thailand. And same with these flowers and, and these little hats. So um, it's a, like a little acrylic hat. Really super cute. Love it. Then I want to make um, them some embellishments that they could um, keep. So here is a little um, key from Daiso. And then I um, painted it with chalk paint first. And then I used uh, shimmers on top of it. And then I used my um, uh, stickles on top of there. And I thought it'd be really pretty. Then I made this little pink bow um, with sat. It's like a little satin pink bow. Um, and then this little acrylic flower, again, is from Thailand. Um, so let me just open this up here so y'all don't have a glare. Okay, here we go. And then the glasses are one of the die cuts. Again, here's the dress form die cut. Here's the purse die cut. I'm telling you, I love all these die cuts. Here's the lipstick. So, and then I used one of the Paper Studios metal hangers. And I went ahead and um, used chalk paint again because it's easier to use chalk paint on metal. Um, and then here's another one of my paper flowers. I don't know how I got squished in here. Anyway, I'll try to fix that. Um, but anyway, it's just... A bunch of little embellishments that I made and I thought um, that this would be really fun for them to put in an album or whatever they're gonna make or they can just give this away I don't know so then I made a card it says clothes aren't going to change the world the women who wear them will and that's by Ann Klein and um, then 
I will fill it out to whoever is the recipient of this wonderful loaded corset envelope. So I hope you all like my projects and I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous weekend. Again, don't forget to visit countrycraftcreations.com. There's still a couple kits left. So if you want it, get it now. If you've already ordered the kit and you want to get the extended kit, do, 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 because I love it. It's all so stinking cute. So hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous weekend, y'all. Ah,